Well, hey there, and thanks again for joining me here at Tesla Northwest and EVs. Boy, what a rainy, windy Easter Sunday. We went up and visited my parents in Ferndale, and we used FSD full self-driving beta version 11.3.6, the latest version, to take us home. So join us in this video as we use it to go up I-5, or excuse me, down I-5, so we're taking Interstate 5 South from Ferndale into Burlington, Washington to check out the brand new version 3 250 kilowatt 16 stall supercharger they're putting in by the Best Buy there. It hasn't been commissioned yet, so at the end of the video I'll give you a quick walk around and show you that brand new installation and you can join us as we head down I-5. It's not a terribly exciting video, I'll tell you that right up front, but you know what? It just keeps getting better and better and better and I think the videos are going to get more and more boring some commentary and it's a compilation i didn't play the whole thing through so i just bring you uh, pieces as we go down the road so join us on the flip side and let me know in the comments what you think thank you so much and have a wonderful day all right as promised we are rolling through ferndale and we're going to hop on interstate 5 south so we'll see how it does i'm not going to bring you this whole trip i just bring you some different interesting clips make this a short video but show you some of the FSD version 11.3.6 on freeways and our freeway is interstate 5 one of the worst probably so, slowing down speed limit change which is probably a good thing because there are notorious speed traps here in Ferndale they do that intentionally to catch people coming into town change the speed in that fast turn left to take the interstate 5 south ramp towards seattle all right so we got a green light somebody turning in front of us no big deal not even a problem again really nice that uh, it doesn't dive on the brakes i used to hate that i would always have my foot hovering over the accelerator i still do uh, because of autopilot and the way it just would dive on the brakes so now it should stop wait for a second very hard on the brakes. That was a bag of Easter goodies. Unsecured. And we're set at a max at 35, but it says the speed limit is 70, so that's a little weird. And we're adjusted up, Tesla. And now this isn't so bad. What's this hook? junk in the road. Is it going to miss it? A uh, piece of tire that went right over the top of. It's going to run the lane out. And if it was smart, it would be making a left-hand merge. But it's going to hang out. And we're set at 75, so good. It initiated a lane change. Got it. Oh, you did. Well, yeah. it was going to do it anyway. It said changing lanes for faster faster lane so you getting your stuff picked up okay sweetie yeah sorry about that so we made it on the freeway no interventions thought it was some stop lights there that could be an issue here we've got a tesla buddy and uh, this is pretty easy for fsd so or autopilot navigate on autopilot whatever they want to call it right now i'll just call it a mix of things so Anyway, we're going to uh, kill the feed here. I'll let you know if something interesting happens, but uh, there you go. We merged successfully onto I-5 South. Piece of roadkill. Let's see if it gets out of the way for it. Yeah, it actually felt like it moved a little bit. Did it move a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. So anyway, we'll check back in in a little bit, uh, maybe around the lake. Okay, we're pulling through uh, Bellingham, so might see something interesting here. We'll just to let things hang out and see what happens. Full self-driving may be degraded. That's because it's raining and it is just absolutely windy. We're driving directly into the wind, uh, which might be kind of interesting if we can get some climate. We don't have any information on it yet, but we might have some in a little bit. I'm sure that headwind is going to impact our range. And we are headed to Best Buy in Burlington, so I can bring you a little bit of footage of the brand new version 3. I'm pretty sure it's a 16 stall, but my wife counted 15, uh, but it doesn't mean there wasn't one hiding. Uh, supercharger. 
and I think it might have magic docks. I don't want to make a promise, but that's why we're going to go and find out. That's probably the most important thing that we want to see. So again, we've got nice big graphics. We're rolling through Bellingham. Full self-driving is engaged. This is the latest version, 11.3.6. And as you can see, it's just, it's bread and butter. Very, very nice and smooth, confident. The weather's not bothering it. It's not phantom braking. The only thing we've got to put up with is all the people that want to just camp out in the left-hand lane. Like this minivan. <laughs> so. We'll roll through here for a little bit longer. But had a nice Easter. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday. Just can't say enough how great it is. I saw my mom and dad. And hung out with my brother and his wife. And my wonderful nieces and nephews. And my daughter and my wife. So just a wonderful day. Now we're headed back. New parking lot. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. Yeah, they're keep park, adding park industrial ride. through here. Yeah. I don't, it might have been a parking ride. I saw there was a security car in, in that lot too. So we're I coming up past sunset. There's chargers in there. I didn't see any. Yeah. But hopefully they keep, as they do more construction around here, they keep adding them because it would be nice. We could get the Fiat up here if we had places yeah. to plug it in at. Not that there aren't, but if there were more convenient locations. And this is just, I mean, there's no excuse for, for this. These people should be getting over into their lane. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and I'll kill this feed. Nothing too exciting. Again, we're on Interstate 5 South, headed towards uh, Burlington, Mount Vernon. And we're testing out the latest version of self, full self-driving, 1136. So, we'll catch you again here in a little bit, or if something interesting happens. And we're rolling up past Fairhaven. People are just idiots. I mean, this little red car dove in front of us for no good reason. And now everybody's going two miles, not even two miles over the speed limit, because ours is two miles under. So if we're going 62, we're going 60. I can't figure people out, but FSD isn't bothered by it. I mean, we've got a nice follow distance. I think that's one of the reasons why people dive in front of us, because Again, we're being safe. The car's doing a great job. Look at that string of cars. That is just, there's no excuse for it. The car's being safe, other drivers aren't, and so they take advantage of the follow distance and dive in front of you and then think, oh, well, they're not, they're not on my butt, so I guess I don't need to get out of this lane. So it would be nice, if there's an assertive mode, it would be nice if there was like a, hey, fucker, move mode. Excuse my language. Because, <laughs> look, this is, oh, this is why my wife is driving. And I'll shut up after this, because I would go mental through here, because there's no excuse for it. None whatsoever. And that's why full self-driving is such a blessing, because it helps me to not get so freaked out. I can just turn it on, turn the radio on, and let it do its thing. Even if its thing is uh, being ridiculous. Finally, good, get over, bud. So there you have it. More Interstate 5 South action using full self-driving beta. Nothing too exciting to report. This is, it, it does awesome. It's the maneuvers getting on and getting off that are the biggest problem. And so we'll see how it does when we have to take our exit up here. And we did the right thing, got in the right lane, and the car should be making a lane change for us here momentarily. My wife's watching close because she just passed somebody on the right and doesn't want them to get back around us. Come on, Amos. Go ahead. Signal. So, again, wish the car was slightly more aggressive. Um, you know, that's just a more of a want. It's technically capable of handling this stuff quite well. And as you can see, the weather sucks. Uh, but we're doing just fine. It's mainly just, uh, as I said in my other videos, I'm trying to deal with other drivers now. I, I just, I wish FSD... Uh, wasn't so damn good because the other drivers all suck so <laughs> I mean look at this is ridiculous good follow distance very safe but this guy needs to get over and there's no reason for him to think he needs to get over because the car's not pushing him now I know if you goose it a little bit it'll come up but it doesn't come yeah, up doesn't. much right so Nicole just goosed it a little bit and you can see that now it breaks and it'll start coming back off immediately. Like there's no reason for this driver to think that we want to go around him other than just regular road currency, which he's obviously not using. Man, this 
is just terrible weather. We're driving right into the wind. But luckily, weather isn't such an impact on EVs as long as you're smart about what you're doing. And if you got to manage your range, you just lower your speed if it's really windy or rainy like this. I mean, it does obviously impact how far you can go, but you can manage that impact by managing your speeds. There we go. My wife just initiated a lane change. And very nicely done. Again, the car handles this stuff real smooth. I just wish there was a frogger mode. And as you can see, right, this guy still isn't getting the clue. You can go around him if you want. You can turn, turn FSD off. Oh, you're just going to try and do it all natural, huh? Uh. <laughs> hey, Bad Max. Uh. What? What's that about? Ugh. God, these people. They must have thought that they didn't have time to get over, right, because of this truck here. And welcome to my commute, except about triple the amount of traffic. Bad Max there. I don't think he's ever going to get out of your way, babe. So we'll join you again here, folks, in a little bit. We're about, oh, 15 miles away from the Best Buy, and it looks like this is just going to be dumb traffic for a little while. Good speed. Six and a half. Yep, and somebody else pulled into this left lane and is going hella slow, too. So anyway, we'll check back in a little bit. Yeah, right? Well, we finally got around our our buddy in the truck, Bad Max, and now you can see we're coming into some traffic. We're just about, oh, 10 miles away from the Best Buy. We're in the valley, or damn close to the valley. And we got some traffic up here, so we scooched as we went by that truck. Very cool. And now we're going to run into more traffic. I think it's important to bring you this because Interstate 5 and the interstates is what this new um, version 11 is all about, right? Unifying the stacks so that we're using neural nets everywhere. Uh, but it's really not that exciting a content. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, really don't blame me if you fast forward it, but I want you to see it. I want, to, I want you to see the differences and how it's doing. And this is an improvement over 11.3.3. It's more confident. Um, the on-ramps and off-ramps that we've experienced so far have been better. It still runs them all the way out, but they're better. Uh, Scooch is in its lane nicely, uh, but not super aggressive. So, again, my biggest uh, probably critiques anymore on FSD isn't about what it's technically capable of doing. Shit, I think it can get me anywhere just about with no interventions. Is it doing it in a way that's more human-like? Can it pass the human Turing driving test? <laughs> yeah, found a brake. I felt that. Yeah. And good, good Tesla vision going on here. Good example of that. Lots of traffic. Why? I don't know. It's a Sunday. At, it was a 4:30. Spring break is over. Yeah, spring break's over. Everybody's heading back do like how much better it is, these visuals. You can see the on-ramps and the lane lines. So, all right, well, about seven and a half miles to go. We'll probably check in uh, before we get to the off-ramp. So we are just passing the Burlington Supercharger. It's offline or full currently. Uh, there's a 15-minute wait time at this supercharger. It's very popular. And so we're taking you to the newest one they're building. So we would take this exit if you were having a supercharge coming out of Canada or coming up out of Portland and Seattle, uh, headed towards Canada. But now they're building a new one, and that's where we're going to take you. So uh, the culmination of this I-5 drive will be to see a brand new version 3 supercharger just down the road. So three and a half miles away, yeah. So we're gonna roll through here and uh, bring you a little bit more I-5 footage. Here we should have a nice scooch. Yep, car moves over, very nice. 
beautiful big American flag there in the, in the distance, but we love all our viewers. Really appreciate everybody from the United Kingdom and Canada and Australia especially. Thank you all for your views. Uh, if I can do anything to uh, make the videos uh, better for you or more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More germane, let me know and I'd be happy to do that because I, I love having viewers from all over the world. So I think it's just great. Look at that. You can really tell the wind's going. That is an enormous American flag. And look at that thing. Dang. So very excited about having this new supercharger and I really got my fingers crossed that it's got magic docks on it. So we are gonna find out here just about three miles. We'll end the video when we get there and I'll do a little walk around of the uh, supercharger under construction. I'll also put a short up too so you can catch it that way. some of Tesla Vision picking up the northbound lanes of I-5. Kind of interesting. No hesitations through here with merging traffic. It's very happy. And no complaints about it doing this stuff. It's the, it's the maneuvers getting on and off that has been the biggest problem. Ooh, event traffic. That's right. It's Tulip Festival. And I'm guessing there's not going to be a lot of event traffic the way the weather's been. taking that way, taking the back way home is a bad idea for traffic, you know, should be okay. And you had a speed limit change, so very good. Red Tesla. Ooh, little Fiat. We sure will. Our exit is just up here in about oh, less than a mile, so the car is going to need to start working its way over. And smart to wait because this is a merge. So really, any time you could start getting over. We'll see what it does here. Got somebody passing us on the right. That's embarrassing. Not really our fault. Good job. Changing lanes to follow route. Very well done. I love how it accelerates into a lane change now too. Um, or it'll break if it has to, but more often than not it's able to accelerate through them. And we'll remember this off-ramp from the, uh, the video I did with my dad. We did an EV safari and we used FSD in that and it took this exit. Okay, that was nicely done. We should come up here and execute a left-hand turn when we get our light. Uh, this was a zero intervention drive, folks. Nicole never took it out to pass anybody. We let the car do the whole thing. A little weird bobble there because it knew it needed to go a little wider. Uh, but we made it from Ferndale to here without having to intervene. We're going to be turning into the lot up here, and I can see the new supercharger off to my right. Turn right onto Marketplace Drive. Okay, you got to get over, car. Blinker, good. You got to get all the way over. Turn, turn right onto Marketplace Drive. Okay, so it cut two lanes. That's not the best. It has a green arrow. Okay, so zero intervention drive, Ferndale up here, taking Interstate Five. Wonderfully well done. Thanks so much, and I'll bring you some footage of this new supercharger. All right, here it is. Your destination is on the right. Right in front of us. So as you can see, this is a beautiful version three Tesla supercharger, and I'm gonna get out and bring you a little bit of footage. And the fence blew down so I can walk through there. So we'll check back and bring you some walk around footage. All right, and as promised, sorry about the wind, we are at this brand new version 3 16 stall supercharger here in Burlington, Washington. It's going to be at the Best Buy and there's like a famous footwear and a T-Mobile. You can see they're not quite done with it yet. Sorry again about the wind. And there's actually a couple cabinets open so let's go walk over and take a quick look 
These unfortunately do not have magic docks. I was hoping that they would, but they do not. But here we can see a cabinet open. Trade down here, we can see the coolant pump and some of the other equipment that goes with it. And then of course the handle. Unfortunately, again, no magic docks at this uh, site. But very, very cool. So we're gonna have a 16 stall version three Tesla supercharger here in Burlington, Washington, right by the Best Buy. Here we got a little more of the interior guts of the supercharger and the cabinets are going to be over there so 250 kilowatt max 16 stall very cool very very cool and it looks like it's got another oh i guess at least a week or two to go before it's finished so thanks for joining me on this zero intervention fsd drive down interstate 5 north or south excuse me and uh checking out this cool new supercharger catch you on the flip side